This is part three of the JPEGD page 33 workbook and this is the final part of the three part series. If you have not watched the first and second part, please go and watch the first and second part so that you understand how we got to part three. A quick reminder of what we have been doing. We firstly addressed the main building, which is part one, and then we moved on to parts of part two. And we deliberately left out the swimming pool detail for last. And we are also going to carry on doing the step area and then finally finish off with the swimming pool itself. This is where we ended off at the end of part two. And what we want to focus now on is the back of the swimming pool area and the step area. So in our next step, we will address how to get that measurement over there. We're going to move our attention now to the height of the swimming pool and step area and project that height all the way across to the right hand side of our drawing page. And then we are going to focus on the top view at the back of the swimming pool and step area and take that angle of 30 degrees and extend that and project it to the picture plane and bring it out down straight and where it then intersects with the height that we projected from our side view we will take that height intersection and we will project it all the way to our left vanishing point that will give us the slope and the perspective angle that we're going to work for the back of our swimming pool and step area I'm moving my focus now to the top view at the top right hand corner where the back end of the step area is. And from that point, I'm going to go and draw a light construction line to the standpoint and break it off at the picture plane. And that will give me the reference point here. And once I've gotten that, I'm going to move my ruler to the right vanishing point. And then I'm going to draw a light construction line from the right vanishing point through that intersection that I created here at the bottom as illustrated here. Once I have that, I'm going to draw in a solid line that is going to fill up the back and outer edge of the swimming pool and the step area at the back. Now I'm going to look here at the top right hand corner of my swimming pool area and I'm going to project from that corner a light construction line to the right vanishing point so that I know where I can now project at the top view as you will see here this line here so I want to get that I want to see how far that one was going to go. So in order to do that, I first needed to project now from that right hand corner, that light line to my right vanishing point. Now I'm going to focus my attention to this inside corner over here on the top view, and I'm going to determine how far this line goes all the way back till it meets up with the height of the step in that corner. And to do that, I take my ruler and I project towards the SP, break off at the PP, bring the line down, and that will give us the intersection over here and over here on my answer. And that will help me to know how far this right hand side of the swimming pool's steps will project. And once I have that, I'm going to now focus again on the top view. And uh, once I've gotten to the top view of this intersection at the top of the steps, I'm going to use the 30 degree slant of the steps that's going out to the right and I'm going to now draw in a light construction line to the picture plane, bring it down. And that will give me a reference point over here so that I know from for my next step, I can use that intersection or reference point and determine the position of the top ledge of my steps. So you can see what I've done is from this reference point, I've now drawn a light construction line all the way to my left vanishing point. And that construction line gives me an intersection over here. And with that intersection, I'm going to draw in now that corner of the swimming pool and the top ledge of my step. Now that I've done the inside corner of the swimming pool and step solid, I'm going to focus on this inside intersection over here and then from the right vanishing point, 
I'm going to draw a light construction line to that reference point and that will help me now with the layout of the base of the step area and then I'm going to draw in solid the outlines to those corners so that I get a profile for the steps as seen here. With our next step we're going to focus on this third point that touches the picture plane and we're going to project a light construction line straight down from there all the way to the ground line and then we will move our attention to the top corner of our steps and from there we're going to draw a light construction line to the standpoint and project that all the way down as you can see here. Now we can take the height of the first part of our step here from the uh, side view and project that all the way to the right hand side. So once we have that, we can now take that reference point that we have created over here. And remember, this is now hitting the anchor line of this corner here that came from the picture plane. So we can now project from that height straight to the left vanishing point and to the right vanishing point that construction line that will show us the height of the perspective that we need. So let's just look very closely and you'll see there is the construction line going to the left vanishing point. Now I've also taken simultaneously this lowest point and that point of the step to the left vanishing point. Once I have done those construction lines, all that I can do is I'm going to focus on this bottom inside intersection where those construction lines meet with one another. And now I can draw in the solid base of the swimming pool and step area. We need to focus very closely now at this intersection over here because we're going to project now to the right vanishing point from that point, a light construction line, as you can see here and where it meets up with this line that came from the top uh, that intersection that is in the inside there we're going to now from there project to the left vanishing point so that we can create the constructions for the profile of the steps that we will draw in the next step now that we have all the constructions that we need so we're going to draw in solid the profile of the step area on the right hand side now that we have determined the profile of the steps on the outside, we also need to get the profile on the inside. And in order to do that, we need to focus on this corner on the top view. And we're going to take our ruler and from that intersection, align it to the stand point and from there project the line to the picture plane, bring it down as you can see here in this illustration. And it will meet up with this inside corner uh, that we have determined earlier on. The next step is pun intended because we're going to complete the front of the profile of the step. So we all that we need to do is use the intersections that we have done and complete the solid outlines of our steps as shown here. The steps are not done yet because we are now going to take this corner and from our right vanishing point work in reverse and with our ruler placing it at the right vanishing point and through this intersection on our steps we're going to draw a light construction line in reverse and that will help us to now determine the inside of the reference lines that we need to complete the solid lines of our step so now we will just draw in the solid lines of our step as shown here now that we are done with the steps, we're going to move our attention to the swimming pool. And this is an area where people make a lot of mistakes. So pay close attention to the constructions and you will see how easy it really is. So what we want to do is look at these two edges of our swimming pool. And we're going to take those and parallel to those slants, which is 60 degrees. We're going to draw our lines to the picture plane and bring it down straight. So both of them. As you can see here and once we're done with those we are going to take the 30 degree edge of the swimming pool here in the front that part and we're going to go and project that angle of 30 degrees towards the picture plane and bring it down and that will set up the stage for our next step 
pay close attention now because I'm now going to discuss quite a few steps in one and uh, this is very important to know exactly how to get those reference points for the corners of your swimming pool. So let's start off. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to look at that intersection right there. Okay, from that intersection, as you would see, it is the virtual or a ghost view of the positioning of the swimming pool that we have just projected. So from our side, we've projected the heights of the swimming pool. And then from the top, view, we projected the positioning of the swimming pool of the left and the right edge. So this is the left edge positioning at the right height. And now from that intersection, we are going to project now to the right vanishing point a light construction line. So on that blue line, we will now clearly see that our swimming pool's left edge would be somewhere on that blue line over there. So that is very important. And once we have that, we move to the right hand intersection, which is over there. And then from that intersection, we project to the right vanishing point. And once again, now we know that our swimming pool's right edge is going to be somewhere on that blue line over there. So with that done, we can now move onwards to the next reference point. Now look very closely. This is now where we want to now from that reference point project the front of the swimming pool. So remember, we have come uh, from our top view down here across at an angle of 30 degrees. We brought it down all the way to that correct height. And now from there, we're going to go to the left vanishing point and we're going to draw in that line so that we know that from where this intersection is here, and the intersection is here, that would be the two front corners of our swimming pool that we see here and here on our top view. So let's just number them to make it even more clear. That's number one, let's say, and that's two. So that will be number one, and that would be number two of the corners of the front of our swimming pool. So let's just clear all of this clutter very quickly. And now we're going to move to the back of the swimming pool. So the next reference point that we want to look at is where we now, as you can see with the illustration, have taken this back edge of the swimming pool at an angle of 30 degrees to the picture plane. From the picture plane, we broke it down 90 degrees straight down. And once we have gotten there, we now have to use this intersection at the correct height, which is the same as with all the others. So that intersection we're going to now take to our left vanishing point. And once we've done that, we know where the back corners of our swimming pool will be. So let's just say that is number three and that one is number four. So we will see number three is going to be there and number four is going to be over there. So now we have actually created all four reference points of the swimming pool. So we're working from the outside in. And with that done, we can now move on to the completion of the top uh, rectangular shape of our swimming pool. With the four corners of our swimming pool determined, we can now just draw in the solid outlines of the swimming pool. But remember, this is now at the top of the swimming pool. So that's the top edge of the swimming pool. And what we want to draw next is the depth of the swimming pool. And that will be our last stage of the drawing. We need to focus and pay close attention to the last step. So firstly, I'm going to go to the far right corner of my constructions here at the bottom where that blue line meets the ground line. Now, I use this line because we want to get this corner of our swimming pool here at um, the, our answer. So we need to get that corner over there. And the only way to get there is to use that reference on the top view. And what I did is I projected it all the way to the picture plane. And from the picture plane, we projected it all the way down to there. And that's how we got that reference point. So that is crucial. So what we're going to do is now from that reference point, we're going to project a, a light construction line all the way to the left vanishing point. Now we immediately see at our swimming pool where the lowest corner of our swimming pool will be. But we also need a corner that shows us exactly where 
it's coming down from now you could have just drawn a like construction line straight down or actually a solid line straight down to meet up with that and do those two lines like that as a solid but let's do the full construction just to make sure how i got that um, as a construction from the uh, top view so focus on the intersection here on the top view at that intersection now you will see there's a grass green construction line that's going to come down and then go all the way to the um, answer and what that does for me is it's going to show me that line that i want to get here so now i've shown through the construction how we got to that inside corner and i can now get that part of of the inside lower corner and what we also want to do is from our right vanishing point we're going to now work in reverse through this intersection here on the corner of our uh, swimming pool and what we do now is draw a light construction in reverse backward and that sets up the state so that we can draw in this line here so all that remains now for us to do is to actually go take our rulers and draw in the solid outlines of that uh, swimming pool and that will conclude our answer for this two-point perspective i hope you enjoyed it here is just a preview of what your answer would look like if you got rid of all of the constructions now obviously you are not going to delete or uh, erase any of your constructions because you need to show how you got your answer but I thought I'll just show you what the result would look like without the constructions seen and just to emphasize the beauty of two-point perspective drawings. I hope this was really fun to draw. That is the end of part three and that is also the conclusion of page 33 of the JPGD workbook. I would like to dedicate this tutorial to TurboCAD Africa. The guys do a great job there. Please go and visit their website. Uh, you can also find that them at egdlearning.co.za and also for the online school of Hatfield Christian School. Thank you very much and uh, well done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have learned uh, some valuable lessons for the two-point perspective drawings.